<laughs> Yo, this is for Maka TV. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my ride or die that always come back every single time, baby. Over and over again. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. For real. Real talk, baby. Yo, um, man. Y'all, we go ahead. It's some more stuff going on. More stuff going on. Because we got my boy, my homie, up church. Yes, sir, man. He doing a reaction to this dude again. And I'm ready for it. How about y'all? Y'all ready for it? <laughs> Let's get into this thing. Like a chicken wine. Eat that baby chicken, man. Welcome back, folks. We have breaking news. Like, it's broken uh, news. Without any further ado, I give you the legend of Johnny Gobble and the Cracky Tooth Chronicles. <laughs> Cracky Tooth. <laughs> but they had me pulled up with some other boys I had made friends with, and they, they had ended up texting church saying, hey, man, there's a boy down here. About that. I didn't know this how it went down until years later, but... All right, so the guy on top is Johnny Gobble. The guy on bottom is Cracky Tooth. So Cracky Tooth, the guy <laughs> on the bottom who sounds like an old grandma with mesophilioma, is apparently about to tell a story that I'm involved in. Let's see how many Johnny Gobble Cracky Tooth tendencies are in this story. I'm interested. Hey, so I was in there playing Bulletproof, the original one that I wrote way before church and me met. And uh, when I was playing the original version, uh, that's when church pulled up after they text him and he pulled up and he waited so i got done playing guitar and playing that song and he walked up to me just straight up to me shook my hand he said so does this guy that he's talking to does he even know that he's recording you <laughs> that's what i want to know word for word i'm gonna make you the next justin moore well damn that sucks because you didn't end up being that now did you you ended up being the next dumbass on my youtube channel so the story he's referring to a long time ago some kids around here was like hey man there's this fucking dude at the park i think he's homeless and he's looking for you i was like for what and they're like man he needs help or something fucking something with a record deal so pretty much i drive down there and there's this fucking kid yodeling in the rain it's like goddamn 50 degrees outside Yodely. i got out of my truck Yodely. i walked over i was like hey man what the fuck, you know what are you doing at the park you know yodeling in the rain He's like, man, I traveled down here, and when I got down here, man, this dude told me he had a record deal for me, man. And he, like, tricked me, man. I'm living in the woods over here, man. I was like, what the fuck? A record deal in Ashland City? He's like, yeah, man. He's like, fucking right over here in front of the fucking shelf station, man. That's how his story really started. Okay, now go on, Cracky Toe. Tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going to run up church. He said, I do music and stuff. And he said, I don't know what your situation is, but you can come back with me tonight. You don't do it. I'll help you out. It's your room. I got you. I got extra room in my apartment and all this and everything come off so nice and all that. And that. Yeah, kind of. I did take him in for the night. It was raining outside. It was cold. I wasn't going to leave Cracky Tooth in the woods. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't know this place. <laughs> so, yeah, I did tell him he could come back to the house, but I wasn't like super nice. I said, hey, man, you can come back to my house. But my girlfriend at the time is here, too. Don't come in my room or I will shoot you because I don't know you. That's how that went. Take it away, Cracky Tooth. <laughs> Don't you just hate when mugs leave out stuff and add stuff to a story that they're involved in, but they leaving out the important stuff and adding some shady stuff. Hilarious. No, so I said no, man. I said no, I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. And all that. Well, and he left, and then everybody hung out for a while, and they left, and it was just me again. And the next day, he pulled back up, and he said, "Look, man, you you really you just like you can't be out here. Like, what are you gonna do?" He's like, "I was like, I'm gonna do what I always do." You're already lying. You came back the first night. Why the fuck would I come back a second time and be like, "Man, you sure you don't want to?" I mean, I don't fucking really want you in my house. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, and uh, right. he's like, "Well, just come back with me, man. Like, I know I know it's weird. I know you don't know me, but like." We can really make some music and we can really do something. I thought, like, I know you don't know me, but if you trust me for a day, I'll tell you who I am. I'll tell you what we can do and all that. And uh, I went back with him. I said, you know what, fuck it. I, I, in my head, I'm thinking, I ain't got shit going on. I ain't going. Right. 
you already told me the story about the record deal, which I don't think, I don't even know what the fuck that was. There is no record label in Ashland City. I think some dude was just trying to play with your butt, to be real. Plus, like, <laughs> what the fuck? You can't just rub a dip can and I'll pop up like a music ad. Hey, man, I can make you a star. You traveled here to Ashland City about a fake record deal. Everyone knows I'm against record deals. I asked you if you need some help. Boom, there we go. Oh, my God. That's fucking crazy, man. So crazy. He fucking took me in his apartment. At the time, he was in an apartment. Yeah, so I go back with him at night at my bag and my guitar. And all I ever had. And uh, to this day, if I didn't have my, my girlfriend, if I went with her, that's all I still have, my bag and my guitar. Right. Um, you know, uh, I walked in. He, he took me to the back bedroom. He said, hey, you're, hey you're, it, was, it was a studio. It had a studio and a bed in it. He said, here, it's, it's your room. You make it yours. Do whatever you want. Hand me a skull can. And I said, I don't dip. And I quit dip. But I, I smoked cigarettes and shit. But right. I said, I don't dip. He said, no, no, I open it up. He's like, I opened it up. It was full of weed. I, he's like, you smoke? Don't you guys? like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Come on. We going to keep listening to this deal story. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. it was cool for like a long time after that. It was like it was like that, and then like I think six months rolled by. Oh snap! 